Hey everybody, I'm going to show you one really cool new feature with the latest release of ZBrush. ZBrush 4, release 4. I'm, I'm still very new to it, so I'm still excited to uh, learn all the new cool new features in this program. But let's start off with uh, creating a new sphere within Lightbox. So open up Lightbox and uh, create a simple DynaMesh. No. Okay, that gives us a sphere that we can rotate around and look at. Now, um, it's in draw mode, so if you have a brush, you can uh, color it or resize it, uh, depending on what you have. Fancy, fancy. Or scale up or scale down the brush you're using with... Um, I don't know. I'm not sure what those keys are called. We'll get to that later. Um, let's look at the Move Brush, which is changed in ZBrush 4, Release 4. Um, normally you have this, you know, this crazy line that looks totally complicated, and you can move it any which direction you want to, which anybody who, anybody who, who uses ZBrush knows that it um, changes how the object is um, um, distorted. Um, there are some additional things in this release that are very, very cool. So let's rotate this to something like that. And you'll notice that these lines, uh, these represent your axes or axes. Uh, so I think blue might, might be um, X. Red might be Y, and green, I don't know, is Z or something. And if you click on the ends of these lines, you can quickly switch to that direction. So you can start moving your object in that um, location. So if we move right here, move this right there, and then click this red at switches right there. So if we click, it is moving, but it is moving in this direction, which is hard to see because it's like almost right towards the camera. Let's move it um, right there, which will be easier to see. It's still headed towards the camera, but it's moving up. And now let's quickly move to the blue axis Okay, that is moving le this way. So let's click in the middle and drag that way. So that's, it's, this is really, really cool to have some more functionality with moving, scaling, or rotating things within this program. Uh, because oftentimes it takes a little bit of extra, um, I don't know, it just takes a little bit more time to move things around and like ugh, that took a little bit more time than just clicking on something as easy as that okay now I want to move it down so okay now oh it's rotating <laughs> okay yeah move yeah moving straight up and down yeah and if anybody gets this program or this version of the program I would highly recommend playing with this move tool because it's very useful.